Shi Quan Jin, better known as Yen Shi Quan, was born on the 1st of January 1947 in Hong Kong. He is best known for the Jet Li movie Once Upon a Time in China and Donnie Yen's Iron Monkey. Quan's father, Yam Yu Tin, was an actor and director who relocated from Shanghai to Hong Kong in the late 1940s. As a young boy, he studied Kung Fu and other forms of martial arts along with his brother and sister who also became actors. In 1952, at the age of five, he and his siblings starred in their first movie called The Precious Sword and the Magic Bow. That same year, he starred in a movie with his father called A Sword Against Five Dragons, which his father also directed. For the next 14 years, Quan did not feature in any movies. Instead, he chose to focus on his martial arts training. At the age of 19, he signed a contract with Shaw Brothers Studio and appeared in his first film for them as an extra in the movie Magnificent Trio starring Jimmy Wang Yu and Lo Li. Between the years 1967 to 1971, Quan featured in 53 movies for Shaw Studio, mainly as hoodlums and thugs. Between 1972 to 1977, he featured in 61 movies. Although the majority were for Shaw Studio, he had also begun working for other producers. Although he featured in 117 movies and his face was recognizable to moviegoers, Quan still had not gotten his big break. He had been relegated to minor roles as thugs and gangsters. In frustration, he decided to take a hiatus from acting. However, after a two-year break, his fortune took a turn for the better. In 1979, he was given a prominent role alongside Jackie Chan in the movie Dragon Fist. His portrayal of the remorseful master Zhang Jianjun was well received. He followed this up with the role of the main villain Mo Dong Tak in the movie The 36 Crazy Fist for which Jackie did the fight choreography. He then further cemented his legacy by starring as the main villain Yen Chin Wong in Jackie's directorial debut The Fearless Hyena. He finished off the 70s with a bang, starring as Grasshopper Chang in Story of the Drunken Master and the Sick Fist Master in Dance of the Drunken Mantis. His days as an extra was now behind him. In 1980, Quan starred as the titular Killer in White and as the manipulative villain Long Tong Chien in The Master Strikes. In 1982, he took on back-to-back -to -back roles as a good guy, first as Captain Yu in the movie Blood Child and then as Zhang Li Yi in the Shaw Brothers movie, Kid from Kwantung. The Kung Fu movies era was coming to an inevitable end, and in order to adapt to the coming change, in 1986, after the movie Young Taoism Fighter, Quan made the transition into television. After five years away from making movies, in 1991, Quan made a triumphant return to the big screen with the role that he is now perhaps best known for, Iron Robe Yim Chun Tung in the Jet Li movie, Once Upon a Time in China. Between 1992 to 2001, Quan had prominent roles in 14 movies. The most notable of those roles are in the movie The Swordsman 2 and Once Upon a Time in China 2, both with Jet Li, Dragon Inn with Donnie Yen, Royal Trampa 2 with Stephen Chow, Kickboxer with Yen Biu, and Iron Monkey again with Donnie Yen. With a career spanning almost 50 years, featuring in 135 films and facing off against the top talents in Kung Fu cinema, the likes of Huang Zhang Li, Jackie Chan, Jet Li and Donnie Yen, just to name a few. In the year 2001, the movie Goldfingers would be Yen Shi Quan's last credited role. Up to the year 2024, at the age of 77, Quan still resides in Hong Kong with his family where information about his private life is vague. However, his legacy lives on through his tremendous body of work, which has guaranteed that his place in the annals of Kung Fu cinema is safe and secured. So, to Yen Shi Quan we say, thanks for the memories. If you have enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and feel free to leave a comment. Thank you and may the Fu be with you.